Hey guys, my name is Freedom. You can see there are so many cartoon hairstyles in Vroid Studio. And today I'm going to show you how to import all of this Vroid Studio cartoon hairstyle into the Character Creator 4 to make it available for your CC4 3D avatar. So first you'll be in the Vroid Studio in the Vroid Studio. And start from now, I'm going to show you the step by step. Right. The first step, what we are going to do is just install the Blender. Right. You can just go to my video descriptions. Go and click the link to install the Blender. And next, you need to download the VRM add-on for Blender release. This is a zip folder. Once you already install the Blender in your computer, the next step, what you need to do is make sure the VRM add-on ready there. Just maintain it as a zip file. Click the Edit Preferences. Then click Install. It is under the add-on, always remember. It is under the add-on. Click Install. Under the desktop, the VRM add-on for Blender. Then once you already install you have to make sure you tick here make sure you activate it then once you click file imports you can import the vrm file all right next in the vroid studio i don't save it once you already open the vroid studio all right then, first you have to click Create New. If you don't have the Vroid Studio yet, you can just scroll down, go to my video description to download the Vroid Studio. Click Plus New. Then, as demo, I'm just going to choose a female and wait for a while. Just wait for a while until the, the avatar popping out. Alright. Next, click the hairstyle. Then, click the overall hair. Then, drag here. Now you can see there are so many hairstyles. You can just click random one by one to choose a hairstyle that you like. Alright. Let's say if you want to have this hairstyle, then next, just click here to export as VRM. And wait for a while, it is going to pop out the VRM exporter. Then just click export the title. The title you can just simply put, then scroll down, click export. Then just wait for a while until it is processing. Then choose a location, for example, as demo, I'm going to choose the desktop. I'm going to name this as hairstyle, a cartoon, hairstyle01, save. Now the VRM file is already here. Open the Blender just now. The Blender. Click File, Import, VRM. From the desktop, double click. Then, scroll up like this, then turn on the viewport shading, then you should be able to see all of the color already come out. We just want to have this hairstyle. It is pretty simple, pretty easy. Next, you right click the blender in the taskbar, just open the blender in a new window. Now you have two blenders window. You press A and press delete to delete everything. 
Then from this blender, you click the hairstyle, Control C to copy. Then go to another window here, Control V to paste. Now you can see it pastes together with the skeleton. Just click the skeleton and press delete button. We only want to have this hairstyle. Right, next, turn on the texture and just have a look. Then the next step is just to click File, Export, FBX. Then the path will choose Copy. Then here, just, just embed the texture. Then click the desktop. Here, name it as hairstyle cartoon hairstyle 01. I click export the FBX. Now, once you already have the FBX file, open your character creator. For your 3D avatar, you make sure just make it as a T pose or A pose. I click the animation pose, just apply a calibration T pose. This is, this is just an example, this is CC4 Camilla. I press Q and double click the hair, I press delete to delete the original hairstyle. Then next, just click create accessory. Then choose it from the desktop, the hairstyle. Just double click. Now. This hairstyle is, is already here. You can just press wait. You can press 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 W to make it up. Now you can see that the pivot is at here. Then you can just uh, go and adjust the pivot to the center like this. This is the hairstyle. You can just press R to just make it big or small. You can readjust it. Adjust until you feel satisfied. Right. Fit to the head shape. But now you cannot see any of the texture. You can just export it from the blender. Click and then go to the UV editing. Then just export this picture. Right click, sorry, just click and click image. Save as. Then save it on the desktop. Save. Now, it already have the texture, just click the material, then drag and drop this material to here, the diffuse. Now you can, you can see the color. Next, right click here, adjust the color, adjust the hue. You can change it to any color. Once feel satisfied already, then then click here for this part attached to. You can just change it to change it to the head. Search the head. Make sure it is attached to the head. So now, if you turn the head, it automatically will, will just turn together. Let's say if, if now I go to, I double click, I press Q to double click the body, then I go and adjust the, adjust the animation, motion, edit, pose. Then, let's say I want to adjust the head. Now you can see the hair already attached to the head. So it can be a hairstyle. 
and you can save it as accessory. Just press Q and double click it, then go to the custom, actor, you can just save. Save as the accessory, the file name, just name this as hairstyle01. The cartoon, hairstyle01, click, click OK. Then it will save under the accessory head. And where is it? The, under the accessory others, it is here. You can drag and drop to the head. Then and you can convert it to a hairstyle as well. Just double click it, click here, scroll up, create a hair, not this. Transfer the skin weight. Sorry. Just now it's at here, double click, create a hair. Reset the facial expression, yes. Click OK. Then just make it as a hairstyle base or not this base or click apply now it will become a hairstyle close this then click the hair click save save it as a hairstyle Name it as Cartoon Hairstyle 01. Click OK. Then, where is it? Now it already saved as a hairstyle. I right click, right click it, find the file. It is already here. Become a Revolution Hairstyle, an RL Hairstyle. And you can share this with your friends, etc. Now, you already successfully imported the cartoon hairstyle from, from the Vroid Studio and make it available for Character Creator 4. Actually, there are so many cartoon hairstyle here. You can just convert it one by one to make it available for your Character Creator 4 avatar. Because in Character Creator 4, sometimes you have your cartoon avatar you can just use this type of the cartoon hairstyle for your cartoon avatar. Alright, that's all for today about my tutorials on how to import the Vroid Studio hairstyle to CC4 Character Creator 4 to make it available for your cartoon avatar in Character Creator 4. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my videos, tutorials and sharings, if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animation and 3D game developing. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new videos, tutorials or sharing, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animation and 3D game developing. See you!